I'm going to help you pick out a mouse pad that will unlock your potential. Unless you have none at all, in which case I am sorry. There's just one thing I have to go through before we get started, and it's very important that I do so as it will massively help you pick out a mouse pad. And that thing is stopping power. What do I mean by stopping power? Basically how easy and consistently it is for a mouse to come to a complete stop in the mouse pad. Now I came up with a very basic visual demonstration for this. So here we have two examples, they're both using the same sensitivity and DPI. The first one is on a glass mouse pad, you can see that when moving to a target there's a slight amount of adjustment having to be made due to the lack of stopping power. In the second example using a Zowie GSR you can see that my aim becomes more locked onto targets. This is due to the high stopping power enabling a sharper stop. So let's get to our first category, the high sensitivity gamer. Centimeters for a 360 means nothing to you, micrometers would be more accurate. When someone uses your setup you want them to lose all sense of direction, you're the guy that suddenly starts spinning around in spawn. Or when someone watches you play Dota 2 or Age of Empires people's eyes start to bleed. For this you'll need something that has a good amount of stopping power, so you can get some sort of control over the mouse and look competent. High sensitivities do have some benefits though, you can get away with having a smaller size mouse pad which in turn is cheaper and will give you more room on your desk. I think that's actually the only benefit. A good and safe pick would probably be the Razer Gigantus or Gigantus whatever you want to call it version 2. You can get one at a relatively small size which will save up a lot of your desk space. It is a slower mouse pad but as you won't really be moving your mouse much at all because of your high sensitivity that won't really affect you. But there's still a decent amount of control to help you aim. For low sensitivity gamers that's when there is a broader range of options available to you. As you can start introducing mouse pads with a much faster glide but with a cost of a low stopping power. But now you have a problem the size. Even though your aim is now going to become super smooth and crisp, it now will come with the downside of having to get a massive mouse pad. Or you can get used to lifting your mouse over and over again just to turn around. You do have the benefit of getting a desk mat, but I personally find that these are a little bit too high maintenance for me, so I prefer one that's maybe around about 40 by 40 centimeters at least. As with a size like that it's still quite big and you get a good range of movement before you run out of mouse pad. The speed is entirely up to you based on the games that you play. You can get a slow controlled desk pad if you can still clear corners enough, but it would also mean that you'd have to wave your mouse around your mouse pad a lot which can cause a bit of strain on your arm. I'd personally suggest a Fnatic Dash, it does come in a desk pad size if you need it. But this has a pretty fast coating and it still keeps a little bit of control to it. It's one of the most used mouse pads that I have, I use it pretty much as my main all the time and I've cleaned it multiple times as well and it's still kept a good quality to it. If your sensitivity is pretty much a mid-range one and you're not really 100% sure on what kind of mouse pad that you want, I'd highly recommend the Extrify GP4. This is probably one of the best mid-speed mouse mats that you can get and it's also machine washable at 30 degrees. If you play slower paced tactical shooters like CSGO, Valorant or even Tarkov, for this you're going to mainly need a mouse pad with a good range of control and stopping power, but it still needs to move quite fast. You'll be checking corners and angles a lot so when you enter into a bomb site, you've got to clear all the angles as quickly as possible whilst also still being able to suddenly flick at a moment's notice. What you don't really want is something that is too fast, your aim will become floaty. This means when aiming towards an angle you want to be stopped dead on it. Over aiming here could get you killed in game. When the time to kill is so low there's a higher emphasis on accuracy so picking a mouse pad that will enable you to be the most accurate is very important. My pick for these kind of games would probably be a Zowie GSR. It's a very well rounded mouse pad that has a good balance between speed and control and it is also one of the more popular mouse pads that people use in CSGO so it has certainly been tested for a long time now. 
For more fast-paced first-person shooters like Apex Legends, Battlefield or Battalion 1944, you have once again have a larger variety of different mouse pads to choose from. These games can either have a higher time to kill, faster moving targets or even just multiple targets to get through. You need something that will let you keep up with some incredibly unpredictable scenarios. For me, the best options are mouse pads that have medium to fast speed. This will enable you to switch between multiple targets and or keeping up with one fast moving one. For me, I'd recommend the Fnatic Dash again. It's just a great mouse pad that really excels in faster paced shooters. I could have picked something else for this list, but I'd be lying if I didn't pick this one. It really is a fantastic mouse pad for more fast paced shooters. But what if you play MMOs or MOBAs exclusively? Something that still requires a degree of accuracy on hitting your spells, as long as you get something with stitched edges so the size of the mouse pad doesn't fray, which would hopefully make it last a little bit longer. But let's be honest, there isn't really going to be much that could withstand the amounts of Mountain Dew and Doritos that's going to fall upon it. However, I'd suggest getting one made out of... Kujura fabric. Now this is going to be a very fast mouse pad, so it might take a little bit of time for you to adjust to it. But this type of fabric is incredibly durable and very easy to clean. Because of how durable it is, honestly you could literally just pick the source off when it dries out. And on the odd occasions where you're having a shower, you can take your mouse pad in there with you just so you can give yourself and your mouse pad a bit of a wash. For those of you that are strapped for cash and want some value for money, well may I introduce to you the HyperX Pulsefire mat. This is a mouse pad that is regularly on sale and is around about on average just $8, with the recommended retail price being $15. It's 30 by 30 centimeters, so it's not the biggest, but considering it's got stitched edges, a really nice rubber base, and actually a quite a medium speed surface, it's actually a very, very good pickup for the price. But what if you are even more strapped for cash, or you just can't justify spending $30 on something that effectively just costs $3 to make. Well, I have a solution for you. Baking paper and masking tape. Yes, just stick this down tight on a very flat surface and this will hopefully be a good temporary solution whilst you wait for a replacement proper pad to arrive. It's not great for the long term as it can wear down, but if you have a whole roll of baking paper, does that really matter? Now we move on to a few things to avoid when buying a mouse pad and you should listen to this because honestly this could save you a bit of money. Firstly, make sure you get a mouse pad with stitch edges ideally. If you're someone that has your arm resting on the mouse pad and it kind of hangs off the desk, it's likely to cause the cloth to separate from the rubber base. So if you don't have fantastic posture then it's something to consider when buying a mouse pad. Next is thin mouse pads. Thin to me is anything under 3mm but this is also important if you don't have the best desk quality. A thin mouse pad can really expose any lumps and grooves on a desk. This is why sometimes you can see people stack mouse pads up, because you want to get away from that hardness of your desk a bit. Which leads to, for me, the greatest mouse pad of all time. I bought this at a LAN event once because the desk that I was playing on had loads of chips taken out of it and resulted in me feeling every single lump and bump that was on the desk. And this mouse pad saved me. This is the SteelSeries Quick Heavy. It is a thick boy at 6mm thick, which makes it very heavy. So it will hardly ever move around your desk. Because of the thickness of it, I hardly ever noticed the chunks that were missing from my desk. And I've had this mouse pad for many, many years. This is honestly like my companion in life. Because even if I don't actively use it, it's always on my desk, acting as a base for another mouse pad. This isn't just a mouse pad. It's a foundation of life. I hope that with this knowledge, you may be able to find the mouse pad that's perfect for you. And you may be wondering, what about glass mouse pads? Well, I'm trying one out now, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the video.